Chapter 4 has gotten a bunch of new updates over the past couple weeks, including the full reveal of an upcoming character, some updates from the developers about the chapter, rumors of a new trailer coming soon, and a ton of other super cool things. So starting off with some developer updates, recently the content creator Tibbers has been doing a little series interviewing a bunch of mob developers, including also some voice actors like the ones for Leith Pierre and Mommy Longlegs, which was super neat to hear, where he asked them about Poppy Playtime and other projects, which of course I watched every minute of every one to see if there were any chapter 4 reveals hiding inside, where I found one interesting detail in this interview with the artist Max, famous for designing the Nightmare Critters. As when talking about the anticipation of chapter 4's lore and the questions we had going into the game, Max had told us there would be parts of the story we wouldn't expect. Chapter 4 is probably the most anticipated part of the story yet. I'll tell you some parts you won't expect. <laughs> and that's all I can say. Now this gives me all sorts of theories for what they could mean by this response. For one, I think this could possibly be talking about Huggy. Since if you've watched any of my theory videos about Huggy, at this point there is overwhelming evidence to suggest he is going to return. They've teased him through the ARG and many other ways, but of course for most people it would still be a big shock to finally see the blue beast come out in some way for chapter 4. Or possibly this reference could be talking about some twists maybe none of us will expect since we still have a lot of questions related to what happened to Kissy, what Poppy wants to do with us, or what happened to Harley Sawyer, all of which leave plenty of room for different twists and turns, so I definitely can't wait to see what that brings. And speaking of interviews, content creator Nice, who has done all sorts of videos interviewing devs with Chapter 4 Info, also has announced he as well is going to be interviewing two more mob employees, one of which he had to delay until next year, presumably in January with the release of Chapter 4, supposedly for a good reason, and his interviews always usually have some interesting drops about upcoming content, so definitely stay tuned for that. In terms of merch, in one of the most unexpected collabs, recently the company G Fuel, known for making energy drinks and powders, posted this on Twitter, teasing a Poppy collab, showing a little paper transcript, clearly meant to parody an old document from the Chapter 3 ARG, Hooray! which is a fun niche reference. Then later, they posted this image of a little computer that also hid a mini ARG of its own, as on the screen, we are given a set of binary numbers and an unfinished G Fuel link. When decoding the binary numbers, it spells O, D, I, and G, which when adding onto the end of the axis link takes us to this page with a decrypt button that when pressing gives us a little jump scare and brings us to a countdown page for the site's launch, which when hitting zero led to the full announcement of Poppy Playtime and G Fuel's full collab, including a huggy shaker, which looks interesting, <laughs> some stickers, hydration powder, and their classic energy powder, all of which is on their site now for pre-order in February. Also, make sure to like the video if you're enjoying. I don't really ask for likes anymore, but I'm super interested to see how many we get if I did. In some Poppy Playtime porting news, a couple weeks ago when they dropped Chapter 2 and 3 on every platform, they couldn't quite release them onto Android yet because of some kind of Play Store error. However, fast forward to today, they announced the Android versions are finally out now, officially having all chapters on every major platform, which is great. And plus, they also recently announced the physical version of the first three chapters is coming to X Xbox and Nintendo Switch, which is the first three chapters along with a couple of bonus things like stickers and whatnot. Although I honestly don't know if I can recommend getting this because there's still multiple chapters that haven't released, which you'll still have to buy after. I wish they would have done something like if you bought the physical version, you'd get all of the other chapters after for free at a discount because that's what makes sense to me. Moving on to a little bit of an ARG update. In my last video, the chapter four ARG ended up finally closing out. And at the end, we were given an audio from the devs that when using a spectrogram revealed some kind of message at the end in Greek that people have been supposedly deciphering to spell out some secret messages. However, after posting my video where I mentioned this, a bunch of people who actually spoke and knew how to read Greek ended up coming to me to tell me the message we got here didn't actually mean anything at all. This is weird because it definitely looks like there is some kind of message meant to be hiding here, but apparently not. I even asked the Poppy community manager, Tyler, about the message and they claimed as far as they knew, it wasn't meant to be a puzzle at all. So I'm still asking around to figure it all out, but yeah, apparently there isn't anything hiding here. There's also been some small rumors of supposedly another new Chapter 4 trailer coming soon. As recently, people have reported if you go onto the Chapter 4 Steam DB page, where we can track every update put onto its Steam listing, we could see a new screenshot was added to the store earlier this month, but it can't be viewed or anything when clicking on it, almost like it was hidden, which has led to people 
people reporting this could possibly be for a chapter 4 trailer because with the last couple of trailers they updated the banner of the steam page to include the new character reveals which people think is going on here now i don't have confirmation or anything but i'm honestly very suspicious of this as the screenshot file name here is actually the same file name as the prison screenshot already on the steam page meaning this is more than likely a glitch because steam db sometimes does misreport additions like back in august they reported project playtime added a bunch of screenshots which ended up all being old so while i guess it's possible this means something and is here for a reason in my opinion i don't think this means anything and is likely just a glitch but moving on to some more real updates if you don't remember at the beginning of the chapter 4 arg all the way back in october we received this glitched up photo which user Drigil edited the hex code on to give us this silhouette of a new chapter 4 character now known as pianosaurus however since then they have been digging deeper and deeper messing with the code of the image to see if there were any more secrets hiding inside of the photo and there actually were as over time he slowly began to lift away all of the glitchy and gray filters over the image and started to reveal the full unfiltered design of pianosaurus he did this for days making new improvement after new improvement but after a little while so far we have this final image showing basically 90 percent of the full model of pianosaurus in color appearing like he's going to be green and look pretty much just like the fan renders people have made a while back in terms of their quality they look pretty much exactly how i was hoping which is a good thing but with this full reveal it brought a lot of thoughts and questions relating to pianosaurus as a character since while we've seen characters like yarnaby and even harley sawyer be the main focus of the arg and subsequent trailers which makes me think they are likely going to be the main characters of the chapter pianosaurus along with the other quote toys who we've only seen the super small teasers for have kind of been shoved to the side and we still don't really know much about them this to me makes me think that kind of similar to how in chapter three there were toys like dog day and miss delight that were never fully revealed until the game actually released only dark silhouettes and other small teasers were given to us pre-release since they were minor characters instead of a big hyped up reveal like for catnap's bigger body or the smiling critters cartoon in general which were the main focus of the chapter so i'm guessing the same thing is happening with pianosaurus and all the others for chapter four where the main villains such as yarnaby get their big reveals through old and presumably also new trailers coming in the future while chances are for the rest of the lesser spotlighted characters like piano they will likely be delegated as smaller minor roles in the actual game so i definitely don't expect pianosaurus or the jester or any other character from the arg outside of of course yarnaby to really have that much of a big presence in the chapter check out this video to learn more about chapter 4 subscribe and i'll see you guys later